So you've seen the video with me taking baby chicks out on the pasture. What happens when they're big and it's time to take them off pasture? This video is about moving the chickens the last time, not feeding them, feed restriction, getting them to the processor and what that whole setup looks like. So in order to sell at my farmer's market, get a better insurance rate, sell wholesale to certain other accounts, I need to bring my birds to a USDA inspected facility because that's what it, that's what it requires in Connecticut. So I start 24 hours before I'm gonna bring them to the processor, my processing process begins. So I do one final move with the chicken tractors in the morning. That gets them off of yesterday's manure. They're fresh, they're clean, they're happy. They moved on to new grass. They have some forage and some snacks but I restrict the feed for 24 hours before they go through that process. So without giving them any grain, their crop and their gut and their butt are all empty, hopefully by the time they hit the processor, which makes the whole process a lot cleaner, more sanitary. You're not dealing with a large crop that you then have to pull out through the cavity. Uh, they don't have as much poop in their gut. So when you, they're gutting the birds, eviscerating, it's a lot cleaner, there's less likely uh, likelihood of contamination with manure getting out and getting on the meat. So move the birds so they're clean, restrict the feed so they have an empty gut and an empty stomach. And then we go through at the end of the day at the, after the sunset or when the sun is setting depending on the time of year and collect the birds about 10 birds per crate and before that I've set up my truck and my trailer and the trailer holds all the crates that I'm going to have for the chickens. Every batch is about 240 chickens, about 10 birds per crate. Uh, we pack them up the night before. I leave crazy early in the morning, and then I drive them to my processor, drop those crates off. The processor processes the chickens to my specifications, and then I get the birds back whole, wrapped, shrink wrapped with the giblets on the inside, and that's how I sell my birds primarily. Whether it's wholesale, retail, CSA, uh, my main product is that whole bird uh, wrapped up, shrink wrapped, ready to go. So if you have any questions about this, I can get more detailed with these videos. This is just a quick video to show you the process. Kate and I will be doing it this evening. Um, once again, that overview, move them, restrict the feed, pack them up after sunset because you don't want them to get too hot. Then drop them off at the processor, make sure they're cut up and processed to your specifications, get them back, maintain the temperature the entire time after you get the birds back, you wanna keep them below 40 degrees and then get them into the hands of the customer as soon as possible. The longer you hold on to inventory, the less money you make on it. So that's, uh, that's my brief overview on the process of pre-processing. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and I will see you out in the field.